Hey everyone, welcome back to the Arp Games YouTube channel. My name is Ralph, this is the Banner Saga. We've been fighting a bunch of wars and we have a pretty injured crew. We just arrived at a village. Let's check it out. The wounded are gathered and you head towards what's left of the village ahead. You wander through the small village, where there had been a cacophony of battle before, now an eerie silence hangs over the place. Bodies of dredge and villagers make a macabre pot to houses that have been ripped apart as if by a tornado. Ursa stops in her tracks, you hear that? She all but whispers. Sounds like crying. Soon you discover a trapdoor partially hidden by a carpet. Let's open the hatch. A woman's scream dies in her throat at the sight of Varl instead of Dredge. Men and women both are huddled together. A baby cries on her mother's shoulder. They are clearly awed to see so many warriors. What do we do now? They ask. I'm gonna assume they can get back to Strand because we cleared the way, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah. Because I don't want to send escorts because that just reduces my numbers, and I need to survive as well, so... They give you worrying looks, but eventually begin gathering their things. Think they'll make it? asks Mogur, doubt in his voice. You don't know, but trying has got to be better than starving to death in a pit. Well, yeah. Eric watches. I almost feel guilty about this, he says. I know Strand. Even if they make it in one piece, the locals will tear them apart. Not literally, of course, but, well, maybe literally. I might join them. We need you here, Eric. Not from what I've seen, he says, but taps the toe of his boot on the ground and returns to the caravan. Oh boy. Uh, let's see, we have a market, we have heroes, we have a map. And we can rest. Yeah, we definitely need to rest. Let's uh, take a look at our heroes. We can actually level up a bunch of people. And we have 63 renown. So what I want to do is uh, let's... Uh, let's promote Hakon for sure. Maximum strength and break, I would say. So let's promote Hakon. Let's give him extra break and let's give him more strength. There we go. Because if there are items here that are useful, I might just uh, give them to someone. A lightning rune stone is a small stone with a curious carving that conjures. conjures. <laughs> that conjures. Jesus. Conjures images of furious lightning storms. We have a narwhal horn, plus one break. You see, that's an interesting item. And we have an eyeless rift. What is this? The simple black sash said to be wrapped around the eyes of a blind archer who never missed a shot. Never deflected, plus 10% crit chance. I might pick that up, yes. Eight renown. Let's grab this narwhal horn as well. You see, if I had done this the other way around, I could have given this to Hakon, and then the item would have leveled up. But if if I equip the item to a Mogur like this and now I level up Mogur normally the item should go up as well I think I think I'm gonna do the same here so extra break and extra although actually he could he could be the tank so I could also boost his armor yeah let's let's boost armor There we go. So we can promote Mogur once more. Let's do it. 
So more armor would be nice. Uh, let's see, maybe extra break and more armor. There we go. And then we can also loot and I'm not sure. I doesn't seem to be like one of the most amazing characters. Ursa, however, is super interesting. Uh, uh, she cannot wear this yet, I guess. No. So Ursa, I definitely want to promote to the maximum. More break. Are we going to need more break with her? This will be very nice. And should we give her one more strength? Actually, she can already damage. I think for her, it's most important to be able to break as much armor. So maybe we should just maximize breaking armor first. Let's do it like this. Okay, and now we need to rest pretty much uh, at least three days. Our supplies are not going to be happy with that. We do still have some extra, but uh, let's rest. Morale improved, okay. Rest again. So now we have everyone back at uh, at normal. Bercy is also a possibility to promote. Maybe Bercy we can promote one more time and add more to his... Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's like Gunulf, right? Yeah, we might promote Bercy. Five Renown, I'm willing to spend, add some more strength. There we go. Take in a little bit of what's going on here. Let's see. The Hanged Man. Curious formation of a peak straddled on two sides by natural passes. The singular snow-capped summit between them stands lonely and alone. This is uh, Vetterfell. What do we have here? The Bratabrek Peaks. When the first Faral warriors trudged north to discover new lands, the Bratabrek Peaks were thought to be the edge of the world. Their summits often disappear in the clouds and... Unlike other mountain rangers, the pass through was never found. That is, until the Varl King Einar had the Burrow Pass built, a bridge that takes three days to cross. You hear a shout echo on the wind. Standard Farl greeting. Caravan of Farl are heading towards your direction, probably a few hundred in total. You meet them halfway. You must be with Fognir, Fasold says. Was. Fognir didn't make it. You're serious? It's getting grim out here, but didn't expect that. You're flying the Schlitt banner. What's happening? Isn't Ulfar in charge there? I'm fossiled. Ulfar's still in Schlitt, in case he needs to be. He sent me to meet Fognir. Well, you. We've seen nothing happening in Schlitt yet. What do you mean? No dredge. They never came through Schlitt. They're all pouring out of Richhorn. We only just found out about it. One group went that way. We came here. Richhorn? The fort on the bay? The place has been abandoned for hundreds of years. Yeah, 
Maybe that's why they're there. By all accounts, it looks like another damned invasion. Luden forces his way into the conversation. Oh, great. Here comes Joffrey. Wait a godless minute. What did you do? Careful now. You be careful. What did you start? You think men don't remember history? The long banner hangs in Arborang. Second Great War nearly screwed us all. What did you do this time? Who the fane is this? I'm wondering if we can do that. Yeah. Take him and go to Grofheim. We'll meet you later. Are you insane? He just said an army of dredge are pouring out of that fort. Go on to Grofheim then, Prince. Having your blood on my hands would be worse than doing nothing. This shot's looting up for a moment. You can see the battle raging in his head. He looks desperate for safety, but he didn't expect to flee like a coward. He expected you to come along. He glances at his men. We're well, already this far. If this is the Varl's doing, I'll know of it, and so will my father. Besides, you need my help and my fighters. If I go, so do Ursa and Bercy. Hmm, yeah. Luden's unexpected flip-flop catches you like a swift kick to the shins. Mogur can't contain a chuckle. <laughs> the prince has courage. Do whatever you like, Luden. Paint me the villain, Hakon. What do I care? I'm sick of you being the only one to do as he pleases in this alliance. These are far lands. We're facing an army of dredge. How much experience do you have in these matters? True, mankind has never provoked them into a war. You're going for a third. Is taunting dredge into genocide a game for your kind? <laughs> oh boy. Let's uh, let's walk away here, cause you curse and threaten pandemonium. The prince has chosen to be no responsibility of yours. If Luden stays, so do Fossil's warriors. They join the caravan. Okay. Well, that's 330 extra Varl, I mean, and extra supplies. I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind that. Mogur finds you this time in a hurry. I found out what's wrong with the sick Varl, he says, clutching his gut. I ate some of it myself. Food's not poisoned, but it's spoiled. Bad fish and, uh, getting more so. Wish I didn't just think about that. We must have got it from the merchants back near Vetterfell. Mixed it in with the good stuff. Could have messed up as much as half our supply. What do you want to do? Dump only what we know is tainted. It's gonna be dangerous, but hey. How much supplies is that gonna be? Mogur frowns, but agrees. The tainted food is tossed down a hill where it won't attract attention. He reports back, taken care of. But we've got more ill fighters than before. At least 40 at the moment. What do you want to do about them? Tell them to avoid fighting until they recover. Mogur goes to spread the word. Damned careless merchants. You hope this will be the end of it. <laughs> yes, I do hope that indeed. I do hope that indeed. Is that another godstone that we're uh, nearing? The hike approaching the godstone is murder. You recall how most godstones were built on hills overlooking other godstones so that travelers could follow them and find their way between cities? It does nothing to ease your pains. Dredge! Shouts Mogur near the front of the caravan. Suddenly black rocks are whizzing past your head. What the hell is this? You shout. Mogur shakes his head. A stone slams into the shield of a nearby varl, exploding in a flash of light and razor sharp fragments. Get behind the shield bangers, shouts Mogur as you approach for a fight. Do they have artillery now? Quick headcount, there must be at least 726 of them, and I have about, you know, 860 men. 
Even from here you can see nervous glances amidst the enemy ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. Let's do formations. Start comparing weaknesses. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what we're facing. Uh, let's see what Fasold is doing. Fasold is a provoker. Fasold has spent a lot of time with warriors under his command, known for being something of a vicious commander who may have at one point been a brigand with a grudge against mankind, he's also one of the most respected for reliably getting the job done. Most recently he's been posted in Schlitt, holding off the dredge. If Fossil does anything, he's a Varl loyalist. Okay, well that sounds good. He has a lot of armor as well, that is good. That is good, what's his ability? Malice. The character curses and spits at the enemy. <laughs> Forcing that character to attack him on his next turn. With his high armor, he often takes little or no damage from the assault. While malice can be difficult ability to learn, it's devastating in the right circumstances. Negate a strong enemy for a turn, pull an enemy forward on the board, or... Lock a character in place to set them up for future damage. That sounds interesting. And the passive ability is return the favor. Enemies who attack him lose one point of armor for each strike. Uh, triggers every time he takes damage from an adjacent enemy. Okay, yeah, I want him in my party. Let's see. Who are we gonna leave out? I'm guessing Luden. Provoker, yeah, that sounds good. Let's uh, let's try and get ready for battle. Those are um, long range dredge. All of a sudden, uh, yeah, we're not gonna be doing a lot of moving around. So let's click the ready button. Seven damage, so we can immediately kill one here. That would be preferable. It is gonna eat up a bunch of uh, a bunch of willpower, but at least it's um, one less on the battlefield. I would say. Uh, this is Moger, let's move him up. And the turn, the big one there. Um, yeah, let's uh, have Gunilf do some damage. Uh, if we do Tempest, let's see. Strike adjacent enemies in a spin attack, yes, but how much damage does that do? That doesn't do 7 damage, for sure. Let's just, um, let's see... He can only do one... Yeah, let's hit this guy for 7, that's fine. There we go, he's just gonna do some armor damage now. I would assume. Let's uh, have Gris move forward as well. We need to get into that uh, that group over there. Ooh, they're targeting uh, Gunulf. Um, We can't do anything with Fasolt yet, because this is only adjacent. Oh, but this does go diagonally. Oh, that's nice. Alright. See what we can do with... Um, with... Ursa in a moment here. I... Would prefer... Let's see, we can actually do three... So 
So how about we hit... We Can we attack that guy? I guess, yes. No? Okay, so we're gonna need to move over here. We could do the slag, but then that's not ideal. Let's do this, do the three. Actually, we could do five armor damage. Mm, let's turn this on for a moment. Yeah, no, three should be fine. We really need to get in there. So with Hakon, he can do the uh, Sundering Impact. So let him run in here and do Sundering Impact and see how much damage that does. That hits uh, quite a lot of them. Let's see, Mogur. Let's move Mogur up and just kill that one dude. That's one down. That's okay, we can kill the big one. Solid battle so far. It's, uh, although, do I see it correctly that they are ignoring armor? Ah, no, they're not. Okay, no, they're not. They are all focusing on one guy, though. Let's have Fasold go in here and have him do that. <laughs> Spit some insults. Okay, let's see. That does one damage. Let's throw that slag over there. Yeah, they didn't like that for sure. That is good. Five, we can kill this one. There we go, let's spend the willpower. That is eight. Yeah, then I'm running through the slag, that sucks. I'm gonna take damage if I do that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. It is what it is, we need to get these off the battlefield. That's another one. How about we move back with Gunulf? Move back as far as possible. Okay, that's good. We cannot reach here. It's a pity. Uh, Gris is uh, <laughs> not being extremely valuable. But at least he can, uh, you know, take some some armor here. Let's see. Let's do that again. Target this dude. Yep, that 
that's fine. Let's see, let's take away some armor. We have a lot of willpower, so let's let's take it all away. There we go. Where are you running off to? I think I uh, doesn't have willpower left, that's a pity. We are going to do four more damage. Let's see. Five. Yeah, we can kill the one on the left. Can they run off the battlefield, actually? Let's have him rest. Yeah, Grizz didn't do anything, actually. Fossil cannot reach this guy. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna have to kill him with Ursa, which should be no problem at all. Do damage. There we go. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. Uh, we could take this opportunity to uh, do some more damage, actually. Let's kill a few more as they flee. Because we still have um, almost everyone okay, except for Gunulf. So let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, yikes, that took a good amount of damage. Uh, how many of them are there now? Oh, there is a big one over there. All right. So. You are gonna take a whole bunch of damage. Whack. Let's see. Moger. We could have Moger go. Actually. We could break a whole bunch of armor here. There we go. He didn't like that. So we do need to protect uh, Gunulf over there because... You know, actually, he can stay there to be a, a target, but... Next turn, I want him to, to run off, at least. Right. If... I move over here, that is... Yeah, that's okay. It takes a will point, but... Um, battering Ram is not so useful at the moment. Let's just do the four... Oh, we could do six damage. Let's do the four, that's fine for now. Our armor is uh, good enough at the moment. Ah, uh, that's a pity that Ursa goes down. That is a big pity. Let's move down with um, Fasold here. I want him to antagonize uh, that big one over there. Let's see. Hakon. The Sundering Impact is a possibility now. Uh, no, it's not. Let's do uh, four damage. There we go.
that is one that is three we can do four damage there let's just uh, move over here with Mogar and start doing some uh, armor damage there we go yep that's fine uh, could he possibly no he cannot reach that's a pity let's move him out of the way a little bit that is fine let's stay here on this line kill this dude there we go we can actually kill um, someone with our provoker here there we go that should give us another uh, Another unlocked ability indeed. Let's uh, whack this dude for two damage. I could do the four armor damage, but I think I want him to do as little physical damage as possible. So the lower his strength, uh, the better for us. Let's see, Mogar, what can you do? Bring the pain, yes. Bring the pain would be good, probably. Let's move him over here. Bring the pain over there. Ooh, five, that's nice. Oh, damn, that was a good hit. Let's... Uh... Let's start killing some people. We can do one damage over there. Oh, battering ram. Yeah, maybe we should try that. Although we can just kill him. If we battering ram this guy into the big one, I don't think he's gonna die. So let's just do the damage. There we go. Yeah. We might still uh, lose someone here. We need to take down a lot of armor. That's only two armor, unfortunately. Um, maybe I should antagonize the dude. And then we can try to do some more damage with uh, the rest of the gang here. We don't have the Sundering Impact, but let's work on that armor. That's a good one. Mogar has uh, one left. He's only doing one damage as well. But he's doing... Yeah, let's do the five here. Only four armor left, so that should be good. We should be able to take him out quite quickly now uh, there is uh, 8 damage here already 10 damage even there we go yep there we go that went uh, quite well to be honest Haldan's Razor okay we uh, received an item Oh wow, we didn't lose anyone. 
That's impressive. 17 renown, yeah. Damn, good. What in the depths are these, you wonder, looking at the unusual dredge slingers? Nobody knows. Without warning, a deranged and half-dead slag stumbles out of brush, throwing itself upon the yaks attached to the treasure cart. Surprised Farrell pull weapons, but not before the whole cart slides off slick rock and a sheer drop, stopped suddenly by a low growl. The enormous metal wagon dangles precariously off a cliff. From the end swings a confused yox, still tied to its reins. On top the dredge hang hangs on tight, <laughs> keeping the whole thing from plummeting over the side is Gunulf. One hand white knuckling the cart, the other wrapped around the tree trunk. So if we haul the cart back up, is that going to... Yeah, that might kill Gunulf actually. Let's try to knock the dredge off. Let's, let's try that, I don't know. Maybe it will knock the cart down. We'll see. You come up with a fist-sized stone, bounces off the dredge hard armor with a tongue. Just as Uben appears, huffing, the tree creaks under Gunulf's grip and pulls from the ground. The whole collection of things suddenly disappear from sight. No! cries the old Farrell. The car plummets and flips over rocks along the way, tossing its contents across the snow in a shower of gold and gore. The yaks and the dredge are torn to shreds. Gunulf lies motionless, his limbs splayed at unnatural angles. Oh boy. That sucks. Oh, he's dead? Shit. Seriously? Man, that sucks so bad. Following the shock of Gunulf's death, you find yourself wondering why that dredge went after the yaks in the first place. Then you realize the bigger problem is the vast fortune now laying at the bottom of the cliff. Your call, Ubin. Let's see, what choice do we have? Gunulf is dead, anyone can see that. Even if we could gather up the gold, we've nothing to haul it. He sounds defeated, but resolute in moving on. You begrudgingly set off, leaving the grisly scene behind you. Damn. That one hurt. <laughs> no, Gunulf. Imagine all this renown that I spent on him. Man. Here we are, with another godstone. Which one is this? The caravan stops, godstone looming overhead for a short rest. The warriors are glad for it and the stone gives you an ancient sense of being watched over in a comforting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it though. The earth at the base of the godstone is scarred like a struggle occurred. Merchants. No dredge. Encircling Dangler are a variety of goods, a barrel of meat, who, who knows how old, loose silver, a statue made of soapstone, offerings to a dead god. Let's uh, leave the offerings, but check for the uh, merchant's brother. In the midst of the pile of bodies, a glitter catches your eye. You fish a gold necklace out from a jerkin to find five golden rings strung on it. The merchant's brother. Guess he didn't make it, you mutter. Let's take the necklace with the intent to return it at some point. You toss the necklace to Mogur and tell him to hang on to it. If anyone can be trusted, it's him. Don't know what made them think the godstone be safe, Mogur grunts. We're completely exposed up here. If we're going to rest, I think we ought to do a little further away. Let's uh, examine the godstone at least. Dangler was always one of the favorites amongst men. God of good fortune. They believed he brought luck, wealth, or whatever else you wish you had, but couldn't get on your own. The word fortune has a lot of meanings. Eventually, you move on.
All right, that seems like a good point to end the episode. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're enjoying the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along. And I will see you in the next video.